Hey everybody, what is going on? Today we have a very exciting video comparing a pair of natural diamond stud earrings to a pair of lab diamond stud earrings. Now in this video, I wanna do a blind comparison test. So I'm not gonna tell you which ones are which, I'm gonna show you them in a variety of lighting conditions and I wanna see if you guys can tell a difference between the two. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna tell you which one is which. Now, there is about an $8,000 difference between the two pair of diamond earrings that you're seeing on the screen right now. The natural diamond stud earrings we purchased from James Allen and they were $12,553. The lab diamonds, which we also purchased from James Allen, and I will have a link down in the video description linking to the diamonds from James Allen if you guys wanna check them out yourselves. This set of lab diamonds cost $4,881. So almost an $8,000 difference between the two. So I'm gonna show you these in a variety of lighting conditions and let's see if you guys can tell the difference between the two. And let me know down in the comments. I'm curious to see if you guys are able to guess the difference. So this first shot that you're seeing here, this is in some outdoor lighting right around 4.30. So there's no direct harsh sunlight going directly into the diamonds. It's kind of offset here on the left-hand side as you can see as I rotate the diamonds. But you can see that they look absolutely fantastic. Both of them look amazing. This is some of my favorite lighting to film diamonds and I've kind of done some trial and error stuff with a ton of different lighting conditions and stuff and this time of day just makes these diamonds look amazing. So this is an outside shot. Let's go ahead and switch to a macro lens so we can get a little bit closer look at each one of the diamonds. Now taking a look at pair A with the macro lens, these are the four prong design, the traditional diamond stud earring design with those four prongs. And you can see the diamonds look fantastic because we're so close to the diamonds, we can actually start to see some of the small little inclusions, which is totally normal. No diamonds are absolutely perfect. So when we're really up close, we can start to see those small little inclusions, which are gonna be represented in the clarity grade of the diamond. But the true question is, are these the lab diamonds or are they the natural diamonds? Well, let's go ahead and look at pair B. These are the three prong design, also known as a martini style. Really, really good looking set of diamond stud earrings. And as you can see, the diamonds are also looking fantastic. So what do you think? Do you think these are the lab diamonds or do you think they are the naturals? It is very, very hard to tell, but let's go ahead and look at them in some indoor lighting. So here indoors, we're gonna start with some really direct lighting from my camera. And as you can see, it's gonna make these diamonds sparkle a lot. And I just wanted to show you this direct lighting so you can see the difference between the two or the lack thereof. I think they both look amazing. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the direct camera light so we can get a little bit more of a natural view of the diamonds. I think this is a better representation of what they actually look like out in the wild. You know, if you were to actually see these in real life in an indoor uh, setting, this is what they would actually look like. So I wanted to kind of show you both of those views, but look just how amazing both of these look. Such a, a great diamonds. You can see the geometry. They both look fantastic. But the question is, is it pair A or pair B? So let's go ahead and just take a really quick look at the macro shots for both of these. This is the macro shot of pair A. This is the standard four prong design and really, really looking good there. And then let's take a look at the macro shot of pair B with that martini design, also looking fantastic in that indoor lighting. So let's go ahead and get to the final reveal and to figure out which one is which. So here on the left, we have the four prong. These are pair A. These are the natural diamond stud earrings that cost $12,550. $3. Here on the right hand side, we have pair B. These are the three prong martini style. These cost $4,881 because they are lab diamonds. So we have natural diamonds on the left and lab diamonds on the right. And if there's a takeaway from this video, in my opinion, really seeing these in real life, they look so similar to one another. I would not be able to tell a difference between the two if it wasn't for the actual setting that the diamond is sitting in. The only way that I'm able to tell the difference between the two of these is because one of them is in a three prong martini style and the other is in a four prong. And I did that on purpose when I ordered these because I, know, I knew it was gonna be very, very difficult to tell the difference between the two. So yes, there's about an $8,000 difference between the two, but in my opinion, they look identical to one another. So with a comparison like this, this brings up the question, 
What is better, natural diamonds or lab diamonds? And there's no answer to this question. It's really up to the person who's gonna be wearing the diamonds or who's buying the diamonds, and it depends on what they value. Some people really value the origin of a natural diamond. They love the idea that it's created in the earth, and they're willing to pay the premium to get a natural diamond. And then some people don't so much care about where their diamond comes from. They just want it to be a diamond and they're really focused on the aesthetic. They want the best looking diamonds they can get. And this means sometimes getting a bigger diamond, a better clarity grade, better color. And for people like that, they really, really value lab diamonds because they can get a bigger diamond with better grading characteristics for less money but still get to enjoy the aesthetic of a diamond. So it's really up to the buyer. There's no perfect answer, but I hope this video helps you see the similarities between the two so that you can help make your decision. Now, if you guys are shopping for a set of diamond stud earrings, I do recommend that you visit the link down in the video description to James Allen. Like I said, both of the earrings in this video or the sets of earrings in this video came from James Allen. What's really great about their site is they have all of their diamonds listed. So you can start your shopping process there and pick through their diamonds, filter out different clarity, color, size, and you can go through both lab diamonds and natural diamonds and get a real idea of price because you can actually build your earrings on their site and get an exact price of what they would cost. You can then take this around, shop around, but if you're like me, when I ultimately purchased my fiance's engagement ring, which I got from James Allen, they by far had the best price, so I ended up going with them, but it's a great place to start because they have so many diamonds on their website and you can really filter through all the different possibilities and see what you can maximize for your budget. So I hope you guys check that out and I, like I said, I'll have a link to that down in the video description below. I also wanna mention real quick that the diamonds that you saw in this video on my channel, if you visit my channel, I have the unboxing videos for both of these sets of diamond stud earrings. So if you wanna see how they arrived from James Allen, what all was included in the box, what the packaging looks like, all that kind of good stuff, and some more shots of the diamonds in different lighting conditions, be sure to check out the unboxing videos. I also have uh, full pictures of the diamond grading reports on there as well from IGI and GIA for the different diamonds. The naturals were GIA and the lab diamonds were IGI. So you can look at the full diamond reports for those as well in the unboxing video. And I'll also pop them on the screen here so you guys can see them. And then if you wanna check out my channel, I have a ton of other videos comparing lab diamonds and natural diamonds. If you guys haven't gotten your fix yet and you wanna see some more, I have some more videos on my channel. They are mostly engagement rings, but they do feature the same diamonds that could be placed into stud earrings. So be sure to check those out as well. So I hope this video was very helpful for you guys. I hope it really helps in comparing both lab diamonds and natural diamonds. I hope you enjoyed the video and best of luck on your diamond stud earring shopping and we'll see you in the next one. Take care guys.